Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Lake Michigan Fossils, where I go over fossils that I find on the western shores of Lake Michigan, just to help you guys identify them, or just to give you a little bit of information about them. So today, what we're going over is Halicides, or chain coral. So again, these guys can kind of grow in any kind of material. Here's a very sandstony piece, you know, and here's a very quartzy piece again. Um, the big characteristic of this stuff, I'll get some of these wet so you can see, is that these these tubular corals, this is another tubular coral, um, they will always be connected in chains, hence the chain coral. So that's always one way that you can tell these apart from other fossils because these will always pretty much look like this. And again, they come in all sizes. Here's a nice little one that my daughter found just the other day, an awesome one actually. I'll give you a close up of that one later. And then they can be as big as, again, you know, probably bricks. So this is a bigger one that I found. About hand sized, really nice piece. But again, very sandstony. Um, so these guys lived, you know, 400 to 500 million years ago. And again, a tubular coral, and they'll always be connected. So if you have a hard time identifying a, a chain coral, um, you know, it's... There is a, one other fossil that kind of could be mistaken for the chain coral. It's called Syringopora, um, but in a later video, I'll show you why that's a lot easier to tell the difference between these two. You know, these these chains will always be connected to each other. That's how these grow. So, all right. Hopefully you like this episode. Hopefully it was informative. If you liked it, leave a like. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do that. And until next time, have a good one.